myself Ketanam Patel from Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center Navsari Electrical Engineering Department subject is Economics for Engineers fourth semester chapter number 2 cash flow interest and equivalence syllabus contain first is cash flow diagram categories and computations time value of money debt repayment third one is nominal and effective interest okay first of all the cash flow diagram categories and computation a cash flow diagram is a picture of a cash flow stream a cf diagram presents the flow of money as arrows on a time line scale to the magnitude of the cash flow down arrows represent money going out expenses or disturbance mats and up arrows represent money coming in income or receipts okay here this is the revenue dominated cash flow diagram okay cf means cash flow diagram yeah it is also known as present worth method of comparisons revenue dominated okay positive signs means profit revenue slavage value inflows and negative sign means cost outflows okay so is this equations equal pw i equal to minus p plus r1 in bracket 1 by 1 plus i is to 1 plus r2 1 divided by 1 plus i is to 2 plus plus r j 1 divided by 1 plus i is to j plus r n in bracket 1 by 1 plus i is to n plus s in bracket 1 divided by 1 plus i is to n okay the cash flow of each alternative will reduce to time zero by assuming interest rate time zero equal to present time best alternative will be selected by comparing the present worth amount of alternatives maximum present worth okay now the, the introductions of cash flow diagram the initial outlay is generally estimated before the start of the project but the final expenditure to set up the project will not be exactly equal to be estimated initially outlay of the project this is due to project overrun in terms of cost and time similarly the annual operating and maintenance cost will vary over the period of the life of the project the scrap value at the end of the life of the project which is estimated now may be different when the project reaches the end of its life the annual revenues are estimated based on the demand and the possible selling price per unit in the years to come during the life of the project but the demand as well as the selling price per unit is highly dependent on time as well as various other factors such as the level of competitions the income level of people the educational level of people the level of quality of life of people and so on hence there should be a realistic approach to take care of all those uncertainties while selecting a project alternatively each of the components of the cash flows initially outlay annual operating and maintenance cost scrap value of the project at the end of its life and annual revenues will flow certain probability disturbance thus while doing the investment analysis enough care should be taken to establish such probability distributions for the components of the cash flows after fitting the data of particular cash flow to probability distributions the following information is available first is name of the probability distribution mean of second one is mean of the probability distributions third one is variance of the probability distributions and fourth one is formula for the random variety of the probability distributions random variety is used to sample the values of the random variable of the probability distributions if it is not possible to identify any near about probability distributions for any cash flow of project 
then the frequency data of the cash flow may be treated as a discrete probability distribution to represent the data. As an example, let the annual revenue of project flow normal distribution with the mean of micro and standard deviations of zeta. The level of significance alpha to estimate the annual revenue is 0 0.05. Then the formula to estimate the annual revenue x is as follow x equal to mu plus k alpha zeta equal to mu plus 1.64 zeta where k alpha is the standard normal statistic at a given specific presence level of alpha. Okay. Uh, in a present work method, this the present work method of comparisons of project with the probabilistic cash flow components. First, we expected value of each probabilistic component of the cash flow is to be computed. Then the net present worth amount of all the components of the cash flow are to be computed at a given discount rate. It is assumed that the cash flow diagram of each project is revenue dominated. This means that the revenue are assigned with positive sign and the cost are assigned with negative sign. If the present worth of a project is positive then that project is feasible. Otherwise it is not feasible. Finally, the project with the highest present worth is to be selected as the best project. So, this method is illustrated, see, different, different type of example. In cash flow, diagrams are always from some perspective. A transfer of money will be in inflow or outflow depending on your perspective. Consider a borrower that takes out a loan for 5000 rupees at 6% interest. From the borrower perspective, the amount borrowed is an inflow. From the lender's perspective, it is an outflow. The cash flow diagram is more important in economic engineers. The cash flow of each alternative will reduce to time zero by assuming interest rate. Uh, con next is okay. Cash flow is the sum of money recorded as receipt or disbursements in a project's final financial records. A cash flow diagram presents the flow of cash as arrows on a timeline scale to the magnitude of the cash flow when expenses are down arrows and receipts are up arrows here it is the different types of contents of cash flow first one is present worth method in present worth method there are two flow diagram revenue dominated cash flow diagram and cost dominated cash flow diagram second is future worth method future worth method there are two cash flow diagram revenue dominated cash flow diagram and cost dominated cash flow diagram and again in annual equivalent equivalent method revenue dominated cash flow diagram and cost dominated cash flow diagram and fourth one is rate of return method in presence worth method among the different alternative the best alternatives is selected based on the value of the present worth of the different alternatives in a revenue profit dominated cash flow diagram is first is all inflows to the organization such as profit revenue slavage value okay r is a positive signs and the cost means outflows will be assigned with negative signs future work method is used particularly in an investment situation where we need to complete the equivalent worth of the project at the end of its investment period for example Building a nuclear power plant where it is a time consuming in such a situation is it is more common to measure the worth of the investment at the time of commercialization. The accept and reject decision rule for single project evaluation is as follows. The cost dominated cash flow diagram is very important. Next is 
टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी द टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट इन इंजीनियरिंग इकोनॉमी द टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी मीन्स टी वी एम इज द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट मनी यू हैव नाउ इज वर्थ मोर देन द आइडेंटिकल सम इन द फ्यूचर ड्यू टू इट्स पोटेंशियल अर्निंग कैपेसिटी दिस कोर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फाइनेंशियल होल्ड्स दैट प्रोवाइडेड मनी कैन अर्न इंटरेस्ट एनी अमाउंट ऑफ मनी इज वर्थ मोर दिन सोना इट इज रिसीव्ड in the characteristic the value of money versus increase in time okay so money has a time value because it can earn more money over time or earning power money has a time value because of purchasing power changes over time or influences time value of money is measured in terms of market interest rate which reflects both earning and purchasing power in the financial market okay all firms make use of investment of funds investments are accepted to earn a return money possesses a time value money has a time value because it can earn more money over time okay after studying uh, know the symbols used in engineering economy analysis explain the meaning of equivalence of engineering economy calculate the growth rate and rate of return apply simple interest and computed interest and nominal and effective growth rate in engineering economy analysis the time value money the most important point is interest present and future value cash flow and cash flow diagram here are some important definitions like a project the project and investment opportunity generating cash flows over time cash flow the movement of money in or out of a project interest the rate of loan money cash flow diagram describes type magnitude and timing of cash flow over on some horizon time value of money the change in the amount of money over given time period is called the time value of money it is the most important concept in the engineering economy a uh, time value money is the first and one of the most important lessons and should learn in finance this meaning of the time value of money is the worth of rupee received today is different from the worth of rupee to be received in future the concept is important in capital budgeting decisions a very important concept in engineering economics money obtained sooner is more valuable than the money obtained later and money spent sooner is more costly than money spent later having the money sooner provides the ability to investment or otherwise use the money during in inventing years eliminates the risk that the money might not be available next year eliminating the risk the inflation might reduce the purchasing power of the money during the next year future value of the time value of money compounding is the across of finding the future values of cash flows by applying the concept of compound interest compound interest is the interest that is the received on the original amount principal as well as any interest on but not withdraw during earlier period simple interest is the interest that is calculated only on the original amount principal and thus no compounding of interest takes place so money received today is more valuable than received tomorrow currently money received tomorrow is less valuable than received today time preference for money is central concept in finance and business when faced with the cash received or disturbance of the funds over several periods of time take up the time value money to make decisions money has value money can be leased or rented the payments is called interest if you put 100 rupees in a bank at 9% 
interest for one time payment you will receive back your originally 100 plus 9 okay so these are the one, one of the example of time value of money time reference or value for money is in individual preference for possessions of a given amount of money now rather than the same amount at same future time three reasons may be attributed to the individual's time preference for money risk preference for consumptions and investment of opportunities uh, three reasons first is attitude we want to spend it now then later to get something that we need to or want get from something today is greater than satisfaction that you will get from the same thing in future second is availability of opportunities we have a good use of funds now to earn greater income more than sufficient to pay back in future and third one is inflation as price of goods and services increase over time the same dollar or rupees can buy less and less in future okay. the role of time value in finance most financial decisions involve cost and benefits that are spread out over time time value of money allow comparisons of cash flow from different periods now question is your father has offered to give a you give you some money and ask that you choose one of the following two alternatives 1000 today or 1100 one year from now what you what you do it is your questions now different sums of money at different times may be equal in economic value okay. 100 now is said to be equivalent and 106 one year from now if the 100 is invested at the interest rate of 6% or 9% per year now the time value of money means that the value of an of money at one point in time is higher than the value of the same of money at a different point in time at interest interest rate serves as the mechanism for compound the time value of money interest rate is the exchange price between the current and future value of the okay. interest rates represents risk and inflation okay so this is the all basic details of time value of money now next is debt repayment debt repayment before the study we have some interesting definitions like a in, what is interest rate interest rate is a percentage periodically applied to a sum of money to determine the amount of interest to be added to that sum now simple interest simple interest is the practice of changing an interest rate only to an initial sum now compound interest Compound interest is the practice of charging an interest rate to an initial sum up and to pay previously accumulated interest that has not been withdrawn from the initial sum. Compound interest is by far the most commonly used system in the real world. Now economic equivalence. Economic equivalence exists between the individual cash flow or between patterns of cash flow that have the same value even though the amount and timing of the cash flow may differ the appropriate interest rate makes them equal the following compound interest formula is perhaps the single most important equation in the case f equal to p in raised to 1 plus i raised to n the formula p is the present sum and i is the interest rate while n is the number of periods for which interest is compounded and f is the resulting future sum all other important term interest formula are derived from this one cash flow diagram are visual representatives of cash 
inflows and outflows along a timeline. They are particularly useful for helping us detect with the five pattern of cash flow is represented by a particular problem. The five patterns of cash flow are as first is single payment, a single present or future cash flow. Second one is uniform series, a series of flow of equal amounts at regular intervals. Third one is linear gradient series, a series of flow increasing or decreasing by fixed amount of regular intervals. Excel is one of the most convenient tools to solve this type of cash flow series. Fourth one is geometric gradient series. A series of flow increasing or decreasing by a fixed percent at regular intervals. Once again, this type of cash flow series of good candidate for solution by Excel. And fifth one is uneven series. A series of flows exhibiting no overall pattern. However, patterns might be detected for portions of the series. Now, uh, in debt payment, repayment, repaying debt efficiently, efficiently helps you prevent handling over more interest money to your lender. Debt repayment is simply the process of paying off your principal debt balance on a loan over a period of time. This includes an understanding of basic terms surrounding the debt repayment process. Here it is the example for to understand by the help of the figure this is the stacking okay and this is the snowball the debt repayment methods using the snowball or stacking methods making minimum payments on your credit cards can cost you a bundle over a lot of years here's the what would happen if you paid a minimum or more every month on 2000 rupees card balance with a 18% interest or rate. Payment rate is 2%, 4% or 8% balance. And how long do you pay of debt? 27 year, 25 year, 20 year. And interest paid is 11,000, 2,000 and 500. Okay. So debt repayment is a typically takes to 4 to 6 months. It is all the except child supports, students, loans, etc. Uh, in minimum payments trap, the credit card minimum payments are calculated as a percentage of outstanding balance. Typically, it is 3% of amount of outstanding. The low, lower the percentage required, the less you have required to pay per month the more debt will cost you over time. Young Adult and Credit Cards or Card Act Credit card companies prohibited from offering tree in exchange for card applications on college campus and campus events. No credit cards under age 21 unless cousin or profit of income to make payments no more telephone credit and approvals for teens. So, how to pay down debt? Okay. Like a buying a car. A car loan is a usually an installment loan with monthly payments. Make a down payment cash deposits toward purchase price. Can trade in existing car as down payment. Consider a pre-approved loan dealer financing or a lease to improve your credit score pay bills on time keep older accounts open older accounts establish length of history keep debt to avalanche credit ratio less than 50% or 30% better get a mix of type of credit like a revolving and instrument credit and check credit reports and fix mistakes and avoid simultaneous inquiries. In debt repayments, also we know about the balloons payments. Large payments usually at the end of the long term decreases monthly payments. 
risky it can't be make bonus payments usually need to realize the loan cost include first of the principal the amount borrowed second one is interest the amount paid to be borrow money based on the amount of principal award owed length of the and the type of loan and apr interest rate so in debt repayment the five c c's of credit is very important first c is character character means do you pay bills on time second c is capacity do you have income to repay a loan third c is capital what are your assets and net worth fourth one is collateral what assets do you have to secure the loan like a bank account car or house and fifth c is conditions how do general economic conditions affect your ability to repay a loan okay so there these are the five c of credit teacher loan forgiveness program there is a design for current and former classroom teachers students loan solutions etc are also be most important okay now late fees kept of like a 25 rupees for first late payment card act second late payment can cost more 35 25 to 35 cannot exceed the late dollar rupee amount due to like example 25 late fee on 20 minimum payment multiple fees on single late payment are prohibited example late fee and return check fee okay so these are the examples of late fee now vulnerability surrender if unable to make payments return secure access to creditor or obtain creditors permissions to sell the assessed saves on representation this avoids repositions being listed on credit record sometimes creditor will accept assessed as payment in full for a house the legal term of a volunteer surrender is dead in life next is over the limit fee fee charge to exceeding credit limit must option in the exceed credit limit charge monthly until balance drops below limit cannot exceed dollar amount due like a no greater than equal to 10 penalty if exceed limit by 10 so these are the examples of the debt repayment okay next now a nominal and effective interest effective interest rate is the one of the which gathers the compounding periods during the payment plan it is used to compare the annual interest between the loans with different compounding periods like a week month year etc the nominal interest rate is the periodic interest that times the numbers of periods per year here is an example of nominal and annual interest rate per year r is the annual interest rate without considering the effect of any compounding and effect annual interest rate per year small ia is the annual interest rate talking taking into account the effect of any compound during the year ia equal to 1 plus r divided by m raised to m minus 1 equal to 1 plus i raised to m minus 1 because of ia is a effective annual interest rate where i is the effect interest rate per compounding sub period okay r by m while well, m is a number of compounding sub periods per year and small r is the nominal interest rate per year the other formula also we derived i equal to 1 plus r by m is to m minus 1 pv equal to 1 plus i 
divided by Fp, where I is means annual effective rate. Okay, example is like uh, 100 p and 1 plus 0.8 equal to 1.08. So percentage is 8 percent annual interest rate. Nominal interest rate is compound. Now effective interest rate for any time period. The following equations is the effective interest rate per time period as related to nominal interest and the compounding frequency for the same time period where R is the nominal interest rate for the time period M is the number of compound periods of the time period okay. and also the effective interest rate for compounding period. Here is a difference between nominal value effect and effective interest rate. In nominal interest rate, interest rate cost based on an annual period, while effective interest rate actual interest earned or paid in a year or some other time period. Other example is interest is 8% per year compounded in quarterly. What is the effect interest rate per quarter? What is the effective annual interest per rate? Use of equation about with the R equal to 0.08, M is equal to 4. The effectively quarterly interest rate, nominal quarterly interest rate equal to 0.08 divided by 4. So, the answer is 0.02. Now, effective annual IA equal to 1 plus 0 0.08 by 4 means 1.0 raised to 4 minus 1 so answer is 0 0.0824 and in, in terms of percentage 8.24 percent per year so effective annual interest rate is 8.24 percent per year now um, the basics formula or basic terms in nominal and effective interest and interest rate takes two forms first the nominal interest rate and effective interest rate the nominal interest rate does not take into account the compounding period the effective interest rate does not take the compounding period into account and thus is a more accurate measure of interest charges a statement that the interest rate is 10 percent means that interest is a 10 percent per year compoundly annually. In this case the nominal annual interest rate is 10 percent and the effective annual interest rate is also 10 percent. However, if compounding is more frequent than once per year and the effective interest will be greater than 10 percent. The more often compounding occurs, the higher the effective interest rate. The relationship between nominal annual and effective annual interest rate is these equations. Okay. I equal to 1 plus R by M raised to M minus 1. Usually financial agency report the interest rate on a nominal annual basis with a specified compounding period that shows the number of time interest is compounded per year. This is called simple interest, nominal interest or annual interest rate. If the interest rate is compound annually, it means interest is compounded once per year and you receive the interest at the end of the year okay the compounding period can be smaller than the year it can be quarterly monthly or daily in that case the interest rate would be compounded more than once per year for example if the financial agency reports quarterly compounding interest it means interest will be compounded four times per year and you would receive the interest at the end of the each quarter. If the interest is compounding monthly, then the interest is compounding 12 times per year and you would receive the interest at the end of the month. Okay. If an annual interest rate compounds annually, then it should be compounded once per year. Okay. So these are the different different types of nominal and effective interest for us okay. okay thank you